Hello, in this tutorial, I want to show you how to add check boxes in Excel. So simply go to your developer tab here on top. If you do not have a developer tab, you can right click on your ribbon, anywhere in your ribbon, just right click and select customize the ribbon. Next, you will see up Excel option. Here on your right side, you will see developer. Make sure that is checked and click OK. Once you have that, you should see your developer tab up here on top. Click on that and select insert. And then from there, you will select a little check box. After you click on that, you will be able to click on wherever you want to have that check box. So in this case, I want it to be here and you can move it anywhere you'd like. In this case, I'm gonna put it here in this cell and I'm gonna delete the text. You can size it or you can move it around. Once you have it in the correct cell, now you can drag it down, it auto fills to all of your cells. For instance, this one here, I don't need it. Right click on the box and cut to delete. I'm gonna insert another row here. So I can go ahead and capture these check marks. You click on your check box or right click. And once it's selected, you will go ahead and do format control. Once you are in the format control window, you're gonna do checked because once it's checked, this is what you want it to do, right? So it's gonna do a true or false. And you have to put the cell link. So I want it to be in this cell. And OK. So now when I uncheck this, it's false. Check is true. So I want to do it for all of these. And there's no quick way to do it. So you have to do it one by one. So right click on your box, format control, checked, select your cell, which is in the cell link, and OK. Again, right click, format control, checked, your cell, OK. Right click, format control, checked and select your cell. Okay. Now this one I don't need here because these are the totals. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to delete. So now I am able to capture these with check marks. That is how to put in your checkbox into Excel with capturing with the true false statement. So I hope you liked this video. If so, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video.